This is a crossbow powered by a compliant mechanism based on a buckled beam inspired by a men switch device. Back in 2019, I worked on a MEMS device for one of my company's projects. A MEMS device is basically a microelectromechanical system. It means it's a mechanical system at a micro scale, typically produced or manufactured through VLSI processes, the same process used to manufacture silicon chips. One of the switches we developed was particularly interesting because it utilized a buckled beam. In this specific switch, there is a beam that is pre-made in a buckled state. The fascinating aspect of this switch is it's B-stable. This means that you can change the position of the switch and it will maintain the position until you switch it back. I wanted to take this concept and create something practical that I can print and use to teach the concept behind it. I thought it would be interesting to share the idea of the buckled B mechanism. I wasn't exactly sure what to do with it initially, but I thought a toothpick crossbow would be a very cool design to showcase this concept. At first, I tried many different designs. I wanted a loading and triggering mechanism and started to design many different types of triggers, but none of them actually worked. Eventually, I realized that there is a very simple triggering mechanism that works great with this specific design, and it's actually the frame. If you have a rounded frame and compressed the sides, it will make the support sides longer, releasing the buckle beam. This acts as a triggering mechanism. This means that if you load the crossbow by buckling the beam back and then squeeze the frame, it will trigger the beam to jump back into its predefined position and shoot the toothpick. The downside of this design is that if the frame is not stiff enough, the force of the buckled beam will stretch the frame and release it automatically. So you need to make sure to print it with a very high infill. If it can do 100% infill, that's the best because the frame will be stiff enough to keep the beam buckled and compressed. This way, it will only release when you deform the frame with your hand. This is the first time I'm making a video with this voiceover format, so please let me know what do you think about it. If you like it or dislike it, please share your thoughts with me. And if it goes well, I might even buy a decent microphone. You can find the file to print in the description. Please use them safely. The toothpick can cause injury if accidentally hit someone in the eye, so please be careful. Thanks for watching.